You are indeed the emperors of the universe. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our worship. You deserve the lifting up of our hands. Our soul, our heart, lifted up to you. Father, we say, take glory, honor, and adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Behold, you are gathered unto thee, O Lord, because you are the emperor of the universe. We are gathered unto you because you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. We are gathered unto you because you are the Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Christ. Accept all our praise and our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept our praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, accept our praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, the Spirit of God. Thank you, eternal of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want to welcome to your neighbor and welcome your neighbor to church today. And to have your beautiful seats. You can have your seat now. Now we are coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Church of God, are you happy to be in service today? Yes, sir. Are you happy that it's the day of the Lord? To rejoice and to be glad in it. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. As we are all aware, we are in the month of being the will of God. We say that this month is thy will, O Lord. And it will not be just this month in whom. It will be all the days of our life. Receive the grace to shout thy will, O God. Amen. Receive the grace to say thy will, O God. In all situations and circumstances, may the will of the Lord keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, there is perfection in the will of the Lord. If you are not in the Sunday school today, please, I want to encourage you. Try this time to be here and praise the Lord. Then, the will of the Lord says, I will above all things that thou mayest what? That thou mayest what? And what? Even as your what? This is the will of the Master. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Tell your neighbor that is the will of the Master. That is the will of the Master. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And I know that our heart, our minds are full with a lot of things. We want to fend for our family. We want to pay our rent. We want to get a good job. We want to be in good health. We want to provide. Because they will tell us that a man that cannot take care of his family is worse than an infidel. Two of us. So there's a lot of things that occupies our mind. And this sometimes makes us to do our will and not the will of the master. Then we start to look for shortcuts. Tell your neighbor the Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. Tell another neighbor. The Lord will give you the grace to do the will of God. In all situations and circumstances. If you look at Luke chapter 12. Verse 30. In fact, let me start from uh, verse 27. Say, consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not unveiled like one of these. Verse 28. If then also water the ground, which is today in the field, and in the morning is cut into the oven, how much more will it love you, O ye of little feet? When we seek our will passionately, 
and we forget the will of the Lord, it means we are of God's little bit. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, receive grace of faith. The grace, of the grace of faith and faithfulness. He says, if they call so God the grass, which is today is in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the open, how much more will it close the earth? Verse 29. And think not what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Let there be ye thou full mind. Don't be afraid. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know whether it will rain tomorrow. You are operating under the open heaven by the grace of God. The rain of prosperity will rain upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have faith. Have you ever seen a little child, a little child, one year old, two years old, a little child sitting down in front of his house, putting his hand on his cheek, and they ask him what is the problem, and he says he's just thinking about what he's going to eat. It's not possible. That child has faith to go to his father, to go to his mother, mommy, I am hungry. It's like going to go to mommy first. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you tell the mommy, I am what? Amen. And the mommy will feed her. The Lord will feed you. Yeah. The Lord will provide for you. Yeah. 39 says, For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father know that ye have need of this thing. The Lord God Almighty is aware of your needs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do His will and trust Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell Him in my life, in my body, in my marriage, in everything, let Thy will be done. And that's why the text went up. But yes, seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. So fear not, little children. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Say amen. Amen. Don't be afraid. Everything belongs to you. And the Lord will give it to you. Amen. All you need to do is to ask him, Thy will, O Lord. Tell your neighbor, Not my will, but thy will, O Lord. Not my will, you can say that again. Not my will, not my will, but thy will, O God. When you put your trust in the book to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. I want someone to read with the mind from verse 6 to 7. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians 4. Yes. Verse 6. Be careful, be careful for God's name. But in prayer and what? Make your request on all of Go ahead. And the peace of God will pass all the standing shall keep your heart. May the peace of the Lord be from heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you know the problem we have in that scripture? Go to verse. 19. This is our 419. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. What did he say? But my God. Do you have the confidence to say, My God, my God? Now, if you are not serving the Lord, you cannot say, My God. Because the meal of that is not God. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Even one of the deities is the helper. Omega, the emperor of the universe. The I am that I am, Omega, the one that I never know that. Did you hear that? Okay, then again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We call him Omega. 
un punto. No matter how you dip, you drink, you fetch from them. Complete it. But my God, my God, the I am that I am, the Holy Potent, the Holy Present, Yeshua Amashia, we do what? Supply all my needs. Supply all my needs. He said all my needs. Did he say your need? Did he say your need? What did he say? You will supply your needs too. Yes. I thought it's only my needs that you do. You will supply your needs too. As for spoken just as it is unto you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Jam your hands together. Our God is good. Our God is good. If this is true, if what we are just declared is man with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, what do you do then? In every situation, Luke chapter 22, verse 42, you will say that we owe God. You will submit yourself to the sovereign will of the Most High God because in His will there is safety. Tell your neighbor, in the will of the Master, the I am that I am, there is safety. Tell him, in His will there is safety. In His will there is safety. He said, I will never leave you now for safety. That is His will. That is His will. That we shall not want it and that may prosper. And be in hand, even as your soul prosper. Receive the grace to prosper in your soul, in your health, and financially, in the mighty name of Jesus. If that is the case, you will surrender. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You will do all. Not surrender to the pastor, but surrender to the I am that I am. Your song will be like it's on the school told us today. I surrender to you. Why can you help me? Everything, everything that I have, it belongs to you. We hold it up be. You are doing so well. 
It's very easy to trust the Lord. Praise the Lord. But when you are trying and it seems nothing is happening. People that you are smarter than, they are doing so well. Then you begin to ask yourself, how are they doing it? Listen to the word of the Lord. He said, fret not. Fret not. When the evening are succeeding, fret not yourself. After ye, but are not all. The Bible recommends wait. Praise the Lord. This might be your period of waiting. I announce to you, your period of ease, abundant blessing, lifting is here also. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, because the promise of it will make a way, even when there seems to be no way. Put your trust in the Lord. Isaiah told us, Fear not, for I will help you. The Lord will help you. Yeah. Yeah. The I am that I am will help you. Yeah. For time in memorial. For you to be able to do his will and wait on the Lord. He said, I will send the Holy Spirit unto you. The Holy Spirit is your helper. Not only when there is a trouble and there is sudden pain and it comes, you know, there is, it comes suddenly upon them. But the Lord said, as I go away, I send the Holy Ghost unto you. He will be your teacher. He will be your helper. He will teach you all things. How to do the will of God. How to submit yourself unto the Lord. How to help you to be successful. How to help you to succeed. The Lord will do it to you. Yeah. In the name of God the Father. Yeah. In the name of God the Son. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Point number three. There's something you all need to do. Beloved, this is the most difficult thing. If you don't have the faith, if you are not ready to be the part of the word of the Lord, if you are not made up your mind, no matter the circumstances, this is difficult to do. Can you obey the heavenly call? That's our number three. Obedience. Obedience. God loves obedience so passionately. And anyone that is obeying the will of God, is obeying God, we should not run into trouble. Praise the Lord. There is something in science called the law of gravity. He said, whatever God does of God, unfortunately, it's only Nigeria that defies that. Anything that goes up doesn't come down. The price of tomato will not come down. The price of rice has refused to come down. Price of onion, the price of everything is astronomically rising. I thought we were not going to remind you. The price of fuel has refused to come down. Even when the dark of day, the dragon is down. Praise the Lord. Even if my father comes out tomorrow, I doubt if it will come down or I will add more dollars. I doubt. I just doubt. Because there are forces. Invisible hands. Those invisible hands will be crippled in your life. Yeah. Invisible hands that are manipulating, not allowed things to work well. The Lord will cripple their hands. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The invisible hand that said that Nigeria will not prosper. The Lord will trip with their hands and their legs in the mighty name of Jesus. So that the word of God in Jeremiah can come to pass. That we will enjoy a good future in the mighty name of Jesus. That our children may enjoy a good future in the mighty name of Jesus. In anything that you do, you will excel in the mighty name of Jesus. But beloved, don't disobey the law of labor, the law of uh, nature. Praise the Lord. He said, obey, 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 obey. What does it mean to obey? Obedience is to align our will. Not that we should not have a will, but your will should not contradict the will of God. Praise the Lord. I am not teaching here 
that you should not have the will of God in your own personal way. But ensure that your will should not conflict with the will of God. Because when it conflicts, it's a matter of time. The supreme will will do what? It will come to pass. And if your will is against the will of the master, you will be frustrated. May you not be frustrated in the mind of Jesus. Obedience. When you disobey God, you disobey His will. What happens? In fact, the Bible says uh, the, 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 the sin of disobedience is likened to the sin of what? That's dangerous. Let me take it again. The sin of disobedience is likened to what? The name of God is for you to be obedient, not to be disobedient. Praise the Lord. You see, the great not to be disobedient to the heavenly spirit, to the heavenly will. In the mighty name of Jesus. In our next sermon, we're going to be talking purely about the will of God and how to do it. Praise the Lord. But permit us to flow today around this concept that says that we, O God, as it is a strength, in Luke chapter 22, verse. 42. Jesus, in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, he asked, no, this call is too heavy. Let it, can it pass if it is your will? Let it pass. It's not easy to die, praise the Lord. It's not easy. It's not easy for a man to die for his wife. It's not easy for a wife to die for the husband. There's a thin line between I love you, I love you, and that. It is only Jesus that sacrificially loves. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And that's why he encouraged you. He said, if you have two coats, and one of your neighbors is cold. He has no fault. What did he say we should do? Out of that job, too, give him one. Then you do what? You manage the only one remaining. Or if you sacrificially give out the truth to him, what will happen to you? Pneumonia. They are not the opportunity, Jesus said. Receive the grace to serve God with knowledge and understanding. Praise the Lord. When you do the will of God, don't be a Christian that is careless. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are to live smartly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are to do what? Live smartly. God said I should be. Then that which you have that you provided for your family, that is generously. Make sure that the source is continuing. Then the best you can do, pay your time. Praise the Lord. Do what? Do what? Then as the Lord empowers and enables you, give, give your offering. Praise the Lord. Then assist as the Lord enables and empowers you. He did not say, set off all those things that you need to take care of your family and just Be without. Tell your neighbor, God forbid. God forbid. There were times that the Lord said, I said that we should have and it's good to the poor. Before that time, they live for good money. They do what? Nobody is having his own possession. Whatever we have, we have plenty. Then when it is so, distribution is made among the brethren. But that's not our dispensation. Two of us. So as you obey, May the Lord give you the grace to obey with wisdom. Not canon wisdom or canon knowledge. But the wisdom of the I am that I am in the mighty name of Jesus. When you seek for wisdom, the Lord will give you wisdom. 
Because he said, wisdom is a principal thing. In all thy getting, get what? War are conquered by wisdom. Not might, no. Mind and strength cannot conquer any war. Mind, strength without strategy is what? Nothing. May you not fail in the days of adversity. May the Lord increase your strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help you and give you the grace to be obedient to the heavenly call. In the mighty name of Jesus. Obedience. You are called to serve in the household of faith. Are you obeying that? You are called to witness in the life five years. Have you ever spoken to anybody about this job? And yet you are trying to come to church. Are you doing the will of the master? It will be difficult in a week, in a day, not to talk about the gospel, not to preach the gospel, not to advertise Christ. In all that advertising, if you are truly ready to do the will of God, may the Lord give you the grace to do His will. In the mighty name of Jesus, the will be done, O Lord. Let it be in your family. The will of the Lord, let it be in your family. When the will of the Lord is in your family, it means Jesus is in that family. And I can say that when Jesus is in the family, he says, happy, happy, oh. When Jesus is in the family, happy, happy, oh. Happy, happy, oh. Happy, happy, oh. When Jesus is in the family, happy, happy, oh. A donut. He built a house and put all in the middle. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. May you not build your house like that of donuts in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the bread of build your family on that sunny rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when the wind blows against it, it will start. Praise the Lord. Why will you start to go on the sunny rock? When your business is upon the sunny rock, and that rock is who? Jesus. The rock is Jesus. It will be your rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus, his will will be love your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will be love this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The enemy of the people will be fished out. Spiritually and otherwise, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The Lord will turn things around and you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Your story will be when again the Lord turned the captivity yeah. of Zion. We were like again that dream. It will be like a dream. Yeah. The Lord will turn Nigeria around. Yeah. This is our Zion. Praise the Lord. Do you know that the Lord can turn it around? It doesn't matter. Who is the president? Praise the Lord. It does not matter who has the scripture. He can even use an heaven man, unbeliever, to turn things around. You know why? We are all in the path of this time. And it's all the heart of the man that got on the path of the street to the way that he sees him. Praise the Lord. But first, let us see the will of the master. There's a lot of things that is in our life that we are supposed to do that we are not doing. Praise the Lord. How are we living our life? How are we living our life? Some of us, the wickedness in our heart 
is multiplied by 20, in fact, by 100, the wickedness that we send is in the people in authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Check your gates. Check your life. Check your business. They said the soul of doing business is not only to make a profit, it will also give back to the people. True or false? Have you affected any lives? You suppress the truth. You bear false witness. You kill, you maim, you do abortion at will, fornication and adultery. You have a business before you employ a lady. You want to stay with the lady. And you are complaining about the presidency. Check your life. Check your life. So that the will of the master will be perfected in your life. This concerns Paul so much that he talked to us in 2 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles chapter 7. We will soon round up. We are not going to spend the whole day here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me actively involve. Who is hoping? Thomas will read. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. What did the Lord say? 2 Chronicles chapter 14 says, If my people who are called my name, offer themselves and pray, if you can humble yourself and pray, and seek my face, and see the face of the I am that I am, and turn from the wicked ways, then the light here from heaven, and we forgive their sin, and we heal their land. And we forgive their sin. And now we hear their life. Your land is your life. Your land is your family. Your land is your children. Your land is your business. Everything that concerns you. When the Lord heals all of them, you will begin to enjoy heavenly economy. The Lord will give you a lighter touch. In the days of Job, as you are prospering, you think everything was all right in the land? Everything were not all right. That was why when his uh, comforter, his friend, came, they were accusing him. He said, you didn't say now you be the righteous man. You don't see now. Sack God, sack God, sack God. Where has he taken you to? Even the wife told him, will you still remain in the integrity of your heart? I don't tell you, you say in the local war, not in this dispensation. Just cause the God now and that. That's what happens. But it is all to do the will of the master. It is all to stand. He stood for the hand. And what happened? The Lord turned his activities around. But the Lord did not turn it just like that. He stood, received the grace for it. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The psalmist said, after year that I've done all things, stand, wait, trust. Things are not be alright altogether. I know. But the Lord will turn the table around. He will put you where you belong. He will bless the work of your hand. If I say the Lord will bless the work of your hand and there's no work in your hand, what is the Lord going to bless? The rain is coming, the rain is coming. And when the rain comes, it's going to wet what you planted with seed. It's going to bring forth what? Great harvest. But when you don't have anything, no seed in the land. And you said you are in the will of the Lord. Will you be prosper? God is not a magician. He's a miracle worker, but he's not a magician. He's not saying, uh, uh, do nothing, and you will see plenty. No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you do the 
doing will of the world, make sure that you are not idle. As Christians, don't pray from Monday till Saturday. Sunday you are in the church. No productive services. And you expect great breakthrough. How is it going to happen? And the matter of fact, if you do nothing, God will do nothing. The woman told the prophet, there is trouble of fire in the mountain. See, I'm a wife of a prophet who served the Lord, and I served the Lord with Timo and our children. We serve the Lord together, but my husband died and lived there. And they are come to take our son. The man of God did not speak in tongues. Let them forgive you all your sins. No, 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 no. Let them forgive you all your death. No, 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 no. Maybe if it was his father, you know, we have Elisha and we have Elijah. One can call down fire. One can is very powerful. Maybe that one can say your death are forgiven, death cancellation. But if it's cancelled and you don't have business in your hand, will you not go to death again? May that not be your portion. So this prophet, he asked, what do you have in your hand? What is that thing you have in your hand? The woman said, nothing you know there are some people. Their ministry is ministry of nothing. I hope you know that. Whatever you are doing here, whatever we are doing here, some people believe is nothing. We are not doing enough. That is the ministry of some people. It's in the Bible. The man of God told the servant, go and check the weather. There's going to be a more hand of rain. The rain is coming up with faith. He said, my dear master, nothing. Absolutely. The master said, go and check again. How many times did he go? Then he said, hey, oh no, I saw a flood weather, but just a tiny one like the figure, like the hand of man. That's the meaning of some people. So it's not true. They can't encourage your faith. If you find yourself in that position, what do you do? You encourage yourself. The Bible said that David cried. He went on the hand of God's strength. Then he saw the face of the Lord. What should I do? Shall I pursue? Will I overcome? Will I overcome them? Will I be proper of oh, them? No. So you must know how to seek the face of the Lord. In time of adversity, receive grace. Right. To seek the face of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. The woman said, okay. Or maybe the man of God. My spirit is telling me, are you sure you don't have anything? I've just said so. Will I lie to you? I told you I'm the wife of the prophet. You got nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing. Oh, are you sure? Think again. You must have something. Maybe just a little oil. That's it. The Lord will bless the work of your hand. In this time and dispensation, the Lord will bless the work of your hand. Anything you touch. In this dispensation of doing the will of God, it will turn to good. Receive the grace of a minor touch. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said, If my people that are called by my name can humble themselves, be as if you hold the whole nation. I think uh, it was Ushimole uh, that said that uh, someone came for help and was holding, is it I, iPhone 50 or whatever you call it? He said, How can you be helped? You should be helping people. Humble yourself. Tell your neighbor, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Where I come from? Where I come from? 
They say, I polarize you. Do you hear me? It's a warning. You know, use how you get money with the top salts. You can afford a bag of soap, but you pour it in your own food. Then you are no longer eating soup. And you are going to have problems. I order you. They know they use how wealthy you are to consume salt. Rather, listen to this. When you have great habits, what do you do? You cover your mouth as you are eating it. Don't flout it. Tell your neighbor, don't flout it. Don't flout it. Rather, help those that are around you. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And the Holy Spirit. I want you to rise up on your feet.